Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be discussing sunscreens and not just sunscreen, but how to apply sunscreens for makeup. So a lot of people don't like to wear sunscreens and this is because, I mean, I was one of them. And this is because we don't like the fact that it gives us a white cast under our makeup. And sometimes it kind of feels greasy and it kind of like moves our makeup around the place. So we don't like to wear sunscreens. But today I'm discussing with you how to properly apply your sunscreen on the makeup and also the right amount to use you know to get maximum protection and yeah okay, so without further ado let's get into it like i've always said on this channel sunscreen is really important and by now none of us should ever skip sunscreen if you're going to go out during the day i mean sunscreen is very important for our skin it helps to protect our skin against uv rays you know and sunlight that could damage our skin so basically we know there are two types of sunscreens we have the mineral sunscreens and we have the chemical sunscreens i have both the mineral sunscreen and chemical sunscreen but i mostly use the chemical sunscreens if i'm going to be applying my makeup over it and then if i'm going to be going bare face i don't mind using my mineral sunscreen i don't mind my face looking white as long as i'm protecting my skin personally i prefer the chemical sunscreen because it's less likely to give you a white cast it's very easy to apply it on your skin and it's suitable to be worn under makeup the mineral sunscreen tend to look ashy on dark people on people of color dark men dark women you know and if you have to use a mineral sunscreen the way it is intended it's going to give you a white cast i mean it would not just work for you the first step i'm going to be applying my serum on my skin I like to hydrate my skin before starting off with my makeup. Also, I do not use primers anymore. I used to be a big fan of primers. But I realized that it was a big waste of my money because it wasn't doing the work it's supposed to do. I was still sweat. I was still have oily skin. I don't know. My, I sweat a lot. And I realized that the best way to reduce the amount of oils that come out of my skin while on makeup is to properly hydrate my skin. So next I'll be going in with my sunscreen which is Essence by Misha. It's an SPF 45. Normally I will use my moisturizer after my serum but because it's a day makeup I'm going to use my sunscreen in place of moisturizer. But if it's a night makeup I'll use my moisturizer instead because I don't want my face to be all, how do I put it, all I don't know. I can't explain it, but you guys know what I mean. And I've also discussed with you guys on this channel the right amount of sunscreen to use for maximum protection, and it's called the two finger rule. So I've applied my sunscreen on two fingers like this. And if you want to apply the sunscreen to your neck, then you want to use three fingers. But I'm using just two fingers because I'm only applying this to my face. This is why I don't bother using moisturizer because this sunscreen is very moisturizing, guys. Very moisturizing. Like, guys, you have no idea. It seems all white right now, but you're going to blend into my skin so seamlessly. Can't explain it. I know you guys have heard me talk about this sunscreen a lot, and that's because it's very moisturizing compared to other sunscreens that I've used. Guys, I've used a lot of sunscreens, and after a while, my face will feel greasy, and it's just annoying. But this one feels like a normal moisturizer. It doesn't leave a white cast. It's just perfect for me. Like I've, I've done a lot of sunscreen. I've done a lot of try and error. So for me, this works for me. And that's why I feel like this is the best sunscreen to use for makeup. Just So you just want to let this sink into your skin for a while. You don't want to go into foundation immediately. I'm normally a beauty blender kind of person. But today, I decided to just switch it up and use a brush instead. I know a lot of people find this weird. But I'm actually a face before brows kind of girl. Because... I see my brows as sacred and once I do my brows, I don't want to go anywhere close to it. Also, I'm not applying so much of foundation right now because it's called foundation for a reason, you know? So you don't want to go in with the foundation so hard. You know, you want to make sure you take your time applying the foundation. But at the same time, you don't want to put too much because you're still going to apply concealers, you know, highlights, contouring. So you want to kind of build it up gradually. You don't want to go in full ham. You know, it should just make your face very cakey. And I like, I don't like too cakey. I like my makeup soft or, you know, dewy. Okay, so basically at the beginning, you want to start with a moderate amount and then slowly build your way up, you know. And by the end of the makeup, everything comes together. 
I don't know if you guys understand what I mean, but now I've applied my concealer and my foundation kind of looks more heavier. So it's like you're stacking foundation or product upon product upon product. And if you're not careful, you don't take your time to blend. If you don't take your time to use your foundation or wait for your SPF to set in, your makeup is going to end up moving around the place and it's not going to be nice. Just apply a little contouring, nothing too heavy. Also, another reason why I don't really like to use, you know, so much, so much foundation or make my face cakey is because I actually sweat a lot. And once I start sweating, you see my makeup will start to wash off and you literally see the difference between the makeup and my skin. It's not sexy at all. So I've realized that for me, less is always more. And, you know, just taking my time to just properly let this thing just set in will give me more beauty compared to when I try to kick my face. So I'm just applying the a lighter shade of powder in the areas where I highlighted my face. And then I'm gonna apply my normal shade of powder in the other areas of my face. So I'm going in with a contour now. I'm trying to give my face a little bit more dimension. So, so I'm going to just contour the areas of my face that, you know, that I use the liquid contour earlier on I also get really oily around my t-zones you know so that's why i like to focus more on this area that's why you see me highlighting these areas of my face and taking my time to blend it as opposed to other areas of my face so this is why you see me doing this again i'm also baking so i'm going an extra mile right now to just lightly bake the areas that i have you know set with the same shade of powder around my nose you know around my forehead the brow areas if i don't do this i will get really oily and then you notice that my face will start to you know clean off in this area so i like to go and take proper care of these areas that i know that get really oily the reason why i like to use you know chemical sunscreen over mineral sunscreen when it comes to makeup is just because chemical sunscreen kind of absorbs the UV rays while mineral sunscreen bounces off the UV rays and this is why most mineral sunscreens are greasy and most people that use that they tend to sweat a lot I sweat a lot so when I use mineral, mineral sunscreen it's like I'm sweating times too so it's kind of really frustrating honestly I'm yet to see any any mineral sunscreen that you know doesn't leave you give you white cast and doesn't feel greasy i mean i'm sure there are some out there but it's really very hard to find but if any of you have come across any mineral sunscreen that you believe that you know works really well please plug me to it like please guys so i'm gonna go ahead and just do my brows now and i don't want to do this on camera because i owe you guys an updated brow tutorial and i want to make a separate video from that so i want to take my time to film that video separately so i don't want to do that right now so I went ahead to just like finish up my whole eyes basically and like I said earlier I'm going to film an updated brow tutorial for you guys but I don't want to do that on this video right now and I also went ahead to just like do something on my eyes something natural you know and nothing serious because today we are focusing on skin and not on any eye makeup or whatsoever you know just showing you guys how you know the sunscreen gonna sit on your skin and how everything comes out together with no white cast or nothing so i'm gonna go ahead to finish up the whole face apply some highlights some blush you know lip gloss and just finish up this whole look lately i've been obsessed with using liquid highlights now and it just gives me this soft finish that I like. You see, it's not so ashy, it's not so powdery, it's just very dewy. I love it. Just make sure you blend this properly so it looks very seamless. I'm gonna apply some blush right now to so just like marry everything together. I love this blush so much because it's not so, it's not so bright, it's not so pink. It's just very blush toned. <laughs> So I forgot to apply a bit of highlight to my nose. I don't like those sharp highlights on the nose because it just looks very fake. I'm just basically putting this highlight where I, you know, highlighted with the highlighting powder. Applying this on my cupid's bow. I love the finishing touches, guys. Like, it just brings the whole face together. 
So makeup is all done and flawless and I'm about heading out right now. So I'll be out for about three to four hours and when I come back, I'm going to show you guys how my face is looking with the sunscreen on, makeup sitting, no white cast and all of that. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned for the final review. So guys, I'm back and I did spend about three hours outside and to be perfectly honest, it wasn't that hot today. On a normal day, it's about 30 degrees, 32 degrees, but today it's about 27 degrees. But nonetheless, my face looks flawless. It looks the same. You no know, white cast, it's not greasy. I mean, it just looks very perfect. I'm going to come close now so you guys can see what I mean. This is my face up close and I don't know, it just looks the same, you know, like nothing at all. Like it looks the same as I left it. Although my face does feel oily, but you can't see right now because I have kind of like done like a bit of baking and all of that, you know. So it's kind of like controlling the oil. And yeah, my face has stayed put. It's not crazy, you know, white cast, you know, it's just, you know, like my normal makeup basically. So with all of this being said and done, you guys now have no excuse not to wear your sunscreens. I mean, Please get a chemical sunscreen, wear your sunscreen every day, you have no excuse. I mean, after a while, your sunscreen will wear out if you are under the sun and if you are sweating. So you might need to like, you know, reapply your sunscreen. But for me so far, I haven't done any sweating today. And then if you want to reapply your sunscreen, you might want to get all those, um, you know, all those um, sunscreen that you could spray over your face just to like, you know, replenish what you have just done before. But so far... I really don't spend much time under the sun. I try not to spend time under the sun because I mean the sun would damage my skin and that's what I don't want at all. Anyway guys, I hope you guys found this video very helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. And until next time, bye.